here. So I was reading Philippians, and uh, in this one verse, verse 11, this verse specifically, Paul is talking about things that needing and what you don't need. And he says in verse 11, he says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. So it's that verse alone, and uh, now we must understand that Paul, a lot of times, he was stuck in jail, he was stuck in prison, he was stuck hungry, without a house, he was traveling all around, and he didn't have everything that he needed to live, but he learned to be content without it. And now, I would say that it's more of a faith thing, he's, he has faith to be, his faith that he doesn't have, that he has the faith to believe that he will be provided for him. And you must remember, if you are, if you are someone who follows Yahuwah, then you know that Yahuwah will provide for you. Yahuwah will provide in, in His due time when He is ready to provide, when He is ready for your trial or your test to be over, when He is ready for your lesson or something that can help other people to be over, He will help you. But you must understand that the Israelites, the people when they left, they, had, they were provided when they were hungry, they were provided bread from heaven, manna. And when they were thirsty, they were provided water from a rock. So, guys, Yahuwah can turn a stone into bread. He can rain down bread. He will do what he needs to keep his people safe. He always keeps kept his people safe. So if you don't have something right now, it's temporary. Be content without it. Because Yahuwah will provide if you are following him. Alright. Yahuwah bless and shalom.